It may sound illegal, but state officials say internet cafes offering the machines are in line with the law. Jennifer Jim Pickett explains why you're free, free to play to win. I want to show you something. You may have seen places like this opening up all over town. These are those internet cyber cafes. But I want to take you inside and show you exactly what's going on inside. They are actually video gaming rooms. And the thing that we are finding out today, these are legal. These game rooms have all of the bells and whistles of video slot machines. But for now, there's one thing different. These are legal. How is this not gambling? Well, because you're just entering sweepstakes. You're not giving me money to gamble. You're buying internet time and phone card. That's right. These groups are selling other products that allow you to enter a sweepstakes, a chance to win, similar to contests we see at fast food restaurants. But the way to check and see if you win is to play the slot machine. The Department of Agriculture says they regulate these operations, and they told us by phone today, as long as it's a sweepstakes, it's legal. If they conform very strictly with uh, Florida's uh, game promotion statute or sweepstakes statute, they are permitted, but they can't deviate from it. What is required uh, for one of these operations to go forward is it has to be a free game. They can't charge to, to, to play these games. But that's the catch. These operators say you can play for free and they'll give you a card and a couple of spins. But the more internet or phone time you buy, the more sweepstakes or spins you get. All our machines, if you see, they're all registered. We have our sales tax, our business license. So I don't see how. I mean, I mean, okay. everything is legit, like I said. <laughs> now, I did talk to the sheriff's department as well, and they said that they are looking into these, but as far as they can tell, these are operating legitimately, though they are keeping a close eye on all of them. From the west side, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. From CBS 47, this is Action News at 5. Coverage you can count on. New tonight, illegal gambling or just good, clean fun? A high-stakes battle is brewing between some local poker rooms and a nonprofit group. Jacksonville Greyhound Racing filed a lawsuit today against Allied Veterans of the World. Allied runs six gaming rooms, but other gaming organizations say they're doing illegal gambling behind closed doors. Catherine Varnum is on the action cam outside one of those locations. Catherine. Well, Mark, I've been to a lot of the businesses today. You can see they have been pretty packed, just like this one is here. And Allies Lawyer says they're basically offering a sweepstakes to people. That's when they're giving them a prize when they spend a certain amount of money inside the store. Now, Greyhound says using slot machines to do that is illegal. If you don't turn it off, don't touch that. I'm telling you, turn it off. Yes, this, is this is what is happened when property. we went to one of the Internet what? cafes named in the suit. Turn it off, and I will give you the number to who to call. The manager kicked us off the property and gave us her lawyer's phone number. Hi, I'm looking for Kelly Mathis, please. Kelly Mathis is the attorney for Allied Veterans of the World. He couldn't do an interview on camera, but said his client follows the law and he will defend them in court. Jacksonville Greyhound Racing, Inc. filed a lawsuit against Allied today. They say Allied is using slot machines to gamble, and that's illegal in Florida. Our cameras weren't allowed inside, but investigators for Greyhound took these pictures. Mike Freed is their attorney. It's not licensed, it's not regulated, and it's not permitted, and it's damaging to our community. Where you can get something of value in exchange for playing the slot machines, um, you've broken Florida law at that point. Mm -hmm. So everyone that you, goes into these establishments and the establishments themselves are engaged in the illegal activity. These internet cafes are popping up all over the place. Kelly Matthews owns Smitty's in Mandarin. We have been down to the sheriff's department. They have looked at our system. You're fine. You're going by the guidelines. Everything, you know, you, we have no problem with you. She says if Allied is doing business illegally, it hurts all businesses following the law. It's not fair, especially for us little people. <laughs> Now, this lawsuit here asks for damages in excess of $15,000. The lawyer for Greyhound says they're hoping to make police agencies in this area more aware of the illegal gambling going on. We're live in Arlington tonight. I'm Catherine Barnum, Action News. You're watching Channel 4, home of News4Jax.com. Channel 4 News in high definition starts now. And internet gaming rooms targeted in a local lawsuit. Why some say these rooms are allowing illegal activity.
Their hopes of winning big may soon come to a spinning stop. Local gaming rooms want it shut down by Jacksonville Greyhound Racing. Hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer Waugh. And I'm Ross Whitting. The rooms are known as Internet cafes, but a lot of people say they are promoting illegal gambling. Channel 4's Jason Law spoke to both sides of the new lawsuit. He joins us now live right now with new details. Jason? And Rob, the lawyer we talked to today behind the lawsuit estimates there are more than 100 of these internet cafes throughout Northeast Florida that offer computer access to these sweepstaking, uh, sweepstakes games that reward customers with money. Well, some people, other people we talked to say this is just another way of saying illegal gambling. Is this computer really just a slot machine in disguise? That's the question law enforcement agencies throughout the state have been trying to answer. Attorney Michael Freed says there is no question, though. They're slot machines, and they are illegal. What you have are establishments that are uh, pretending to be sweepstakes, um, but that's not what they're doing at all. In fact, it's classic style, Las Vegas style gambling. Tuesday, Freed filed a lawsuit on behalf of Jacksonville Greyhound Racing. The suit accuses allied veterans of the world of operating illegal gambling businesses throughout the city. Allied veterans own several internet cafes that offer computer sweepstakes contests like these. The games can reward players hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. Contestants have to pay to play. Looks like a Las Vegas style um, casino. You've got a, a bunch of people, um, at least uh, on the surface, that appear to be spending uh, the last dime that they have because they think they have a chance of winning it big. Kelly Mathis is an attorney with Allied Veterans. Allied Veterans complies with the law in every way. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office has looked at the operation. They've done their investigation. They know what the law is. Sheriff Rutherford is not going to allow anything illegal to take place here in Jacksonville. Do you feel like you're gambling in there? Yes. I mean, do they look like slot machines? Do they play like slot machines to you? Well, it's on the computer, but yes, it is. You're purchasing internet time and you're entered into the sweepstakes, that's what they say. But I am losing my money. And all in all, there are seven allied veterans uh, internet cafes throughout Jacksonville that are named in this lawsuit. But there's actually many more throughout the state allied veterans internet cafes. In fact, just last week, two in Seminole County were raided by local law enforcement agencies, uh, agencies who served a search warrant and removed several of their computers. But as you heard them say earlier today, they still believe that they are operating within the law. Reporting live, Jason Law for Channel 4, the local station.